We have a Tesla coil, and no one's ever had that before. I think the closest thing we had to any production on Ride the Lightning was our backdrop, which had the electric chair and lightning on it, and a Metallica logo in sparkly foil. You know, the most important thing for us, I think, is just to continue in our 31st year to be as varied as possible so that we, we never rely on the same thing over and over again. I think we have to develop some special effects around here that aren't pyro. I think we have to yeah. find some real sparking devices. The electric chair was Dan Brown's idea. We always knew that we had a visual, a really good image that we never really used, which was the electric chair from Ride the Lightning. I had mentioned a lot of things that I wanted to do. Cliff Burton showing up in a hologram or something like that. You know, let's take this to another level and just keep hearing, no, that can't be done, no, that can't be done. And the Tesla coils was one of those things, you know. Can't we have real electricity? And everyone just said, no, it's, it's, it's fucking dangerous, all right? It's deadly. <laughs> that was very surreal. Well, for me, the Tesla coil is kind of a funny thing because in my mind, it was Kurt. It was always something that he wanted to have. I said to Winky, we need Tesla coils, not the small ones that you can buy in, in stores. I went to a science fair once and I saw two gigantic Tesla coils. I know they're out there. We can get it. We can get them. We can do it. And when he first mentioned it at the table, I kind of started laughing at him, having no idea he was actually serious. He actually tracked down a company of, of people who are, who are just total followers of Nikolai Tesla, the, uh, the actual inventor of Tesla coils. Everybody was absolutely knocked out. I mean, it was just like, oh my God, we can actually do that. If we can make that work, if we can make that safe, that's unbelievable. Everybody you saw it went, oh, we're gonna have to figure out how to make that work. We mean about five of those bad boys. Yeah, uh, I'd say uh, going all the way around, it goes in the round, right? Yep. So, so think just back. think that that thing right up in the ring. We gotta get that People going. People lose their mind. Was it a unanimous opinion that that was fucking awesome? Let me just break it down if I can, if I don't. What we just shot was 10 feet, okay? You can go 20 feet, double machine. 95% of equipment is just fine at 15 feet. We have found that under some circumstances, we need greater distance, and that's dependent on the equipment. Or, or more critically, I have spot operators sitting in metal chairs holding metal spotlights. <laughs> Normally, we don't even let people approach this sphere of death. The sphere of death. The sphere of death. The sphere of death. Apparently, it's a sphere of death. So the sphere of death is just that. It's the area in which if you walk in, you get zapped like a fly. It's like walking into the old bug zapper. I'm directly under the lethal kill zone. No, there's live bolts of lightning just flying overhead. On occasion, when I'm standing right here and I'm tuning, and if I'll have both my hands on the bass strings, I'll get a jolt. It's enough that I gotta let go and walk away. But the guy who fires it stands in front of me, so it makes me feel better. <laughs> we actually have three people on our crew. One is the guy pressing the button. The other two are watching and holding e-stop buttons so that they can make sure that there's nobody in that, that zone of death. And there's a guy sitting down there. You know, he's like, okay, okay, okay. And if, you know, it's not okay, you know, get out, you know. It, it's incredible when the electric chair comes down and the Tesla coils start firing and you have these huge lightning bolts coming out of it. I mean, it's super impressive. I love it, man. <laughs> Winky came up to me and said, I did it, Kirk. Right on. <laughs> right on. I mean, it's great causes some problems with the rest of the electronics in the show. You know, no one ever figured that a Tesla coil would fry equipment, but it does. 
when the, uh, the metal, I mean, the lightning was going off. Tesla. Tesla was going off. So was the bass. Yes, I know. So are the guitars. Second we turned it on, shit, everything went berserk. I mean, the PA went off, the crackling, the banging, the popping. We were lucky. We didn't actually break it. We had to poke around. We were on a digital distribution system. We went analog for that one song. We had to move a lot of stuff from under the stage. I am amazed, to be honest with you. We've actually got it clean. These are technically very complex, but the effect they deliver is simple, it's visceral, and it's just blatant. And I can't wait to see how the crowd responds. Right, the lightning part, you know, the Tesla coils and everything, it was fantastic. The PA went out, <laughs> of course, and at one point I couldn't hear anything, but I just kept on playing because I knew something was coming out. Oh, Ride the Lightning is the absolutely perfect song for this. The chair that come down with the lightning all over it, great. <laughs> Ride the Lightning, it's still my favorite. Electric chair! Ride the lightning, man. That's incredible, man. I can't believe it. This is just huge and spectacular. Right on.